morning. Welcome to Preschool Storytime. I'm Miss Jessica and today I'm going to read you this really fun book called The Story Orchestra, Carnival of the Animals. What kind of animals do you see on the cover of this book? Let's find out what happens in this story. Carnival of the Animals, illustrated by Jessica Courtney Tickle. Carnival of the Animals. It's a rainy day and James and Thomas are two brothers who are very bored. Their mother tells them to go and find something to do. Maybe they could tidy their room? Instead, James picks up a book full of the animals of planet Earth. As the two boys read aloud about lions and tortoises and fish and birds of paradise, they hear a click. Behind the bookshelf, something swings open. It looks like a secret door. where this door leads to. James climbs through and is quickly surrounded by a curious lion pride. The majestic leader paws him on the shoulder. I am the king of this land and the top of the food chain. Welcome to my magical kingdom. Do you want to hear me roar? James just stares at him. Roar! Good, isn't it? He winks, smoothing his shaggy mane with his claws. The lion's roar travels for miles and echoes in James's ears. He wonders if the heat has gone to his head or if he just fell asleep reading. You look just like the lion in my book says James to the Lion King, mystified. Suddenly, he hears Thomas cry out, James, come here, I've found something. What do you think Thomas found? Thomas tumbles through a tree burrow and James jumps hastily after him. They land with a bump on a hard rock. James tries to work out where they are when the rock starts to speak. It's a tortoise. I am 100 today, the tortoise says. They call me Lonely George, but if you have to leave me on my birthday, go that way. Thomas strokes his shell. We will be back, Lonely George, he says. They push through tropical trees to see a herd of elephants lumbering through the jungle. The grandmother elephant scoops Thomas up with her long trunk and puts him on her back. She leads the way and the brothers follow. As they walk, they hum a waltzing melody with their trunks. They have to stop for the baby elephants who are playing in the mud but eventually they spy the ocean in the distance. The 
brothers jump straight into a beautiful coral reef. Splash! They dive and see schools of fish swimming past with shimmering scales and wiggling tails. There's parrotfish and squirrelfish and algae and urchins and even an octopus. James is distracted by the sunlight sparkling through the salty water. When a friendly dolphin picks him up and takes him for an underwater ride. on land, the brothers spy an aviary where the most beautiful birds in the world are kept captive in a cage. Do you know what it means to be kept captive? It means that you're trapped so you can't leave even if you want to. A helpful fox shows them where the key is and Thomas sets them free. Tweet, twitter, chirp, cheep. The birds sing thank you and carry Thomas away with the wind from their feathery wings. Next, the brothers explore a dusty old museum building. What could possibly happen here, James thinks. But as they enter the dinosaur department, an old T-Rex and Diplodocus spring to life. Their bones jump up and their tails swing round. Run, shouts James. Oh, if only we hadn't gone extinct, the T-Rex cries. We're actually very friendly. Do they look friendly to you? The brothers run away from the chaos in the museum and collapse out of breath but laughing by a peaceful lake. They hear music in the distance as a graceful swan paddles by. I like it here, but I think we should go home soon, Thomas says. I'm getting hungry. Problem is, on the way back, all the animals decide they want to come too. But the elephants are too big, the dolphins are too wet, the turtles are too slow, and the fossils can't see where they are going. Then, James hears his mother calling. I'm sorry everyone, but you'll have to stay here until next time. We will come and see you again soon, James says hastily. Two brothers have just got back inside when their mother appears. And where have you two been? She asks. Why is there so much mud in your room? Mama, we had the best adventure, Thomas begins, but James nudges him to keep quiet. Shh. We didn't go anywhere, Mama. We've just been reading our books, James says. But they both know the truth about the magical carnival of the animals hidden behind the bookshelf, shut up until another rainy day. And that's the end of our story for this week. 
Carnival of the Animals. Thank you for joining me for this week's preschool story time. We'll see you again next Monday at 11 for another story. Bye!